Hello and welcome to a life full of meaning. My name's Glenn, this is Lisa, and we sold our house and all our possessions and moved on to a narrow book called Nutshell. Ta da! <laughs> that do ya? <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. Thank you, Glenn. It is week six of bathroom renovation. Well, I have to add that I did say it would be finished by the end of September, so pressure's on. Pressure is on, and we are getting somewhere. What is the highlight of your week, Glenn? Um, we went to the hub, mm -hmm. and all, all the kids, so it's always good to see them and the little ones having a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is good. I thought you were going to say that you finished tiling. Yeah, I mean, it's good to finish tiling as well, but obviously... <laughs> it's not a highlight. It's not... No, I think no. the highlight... Yeah. The, the highlight, highlight will be when, when it's, it's done. Fin when it's fi finished and finished grouting, because grouting is a monster okay. job. Okay, okay. My highlight of the week was, it was my very first shift. Solo shift at the Citizens Advice Bureau. So I started volunteering there a while ago. I've been doing some training. And this week was my first shift. And it was all right. So, here is how the week unfolded. Good morning, good morning, and welcome to a new week. It's Monday, and I'm going to the Citizens Advice Bureau this morning to do my first shift as the receptionist. Oh, I am a little bit nervous, a little bit nervous. So. I'm sure it will be fine. I will let you know how it goes. Glenn cracked on yesterday. In fact, let me let me show you. Hold on, come with me. Let me show you how the bathroom is looking. So, check this out. Look at that. Look at that. He's, uh, he's been doing good. Is that to stop here because he needs a new drill bit thingy uh, to make some bigger holes there. But you've got to be impressed. It's looking mighty fine. Very, very excited about that getting finished. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Well, this morning went really well. I enjoyed my first full shift at the citizens advice where i wasn't shadowing i was i was doing reception duties and it was really good the best time actually so i'm looking forward to doing that again next week anyway talking of doing good let's see how glenn's getting on shall we see behind the door mr warner sitting on the loo oh it's smoky i mean dusty yeah, is that why you shut the door yeah Okay, I'm going to shut it again. Yeah. How are you getting on? I just did two sides by accident the same. I went to the trouble of cutting that really hard angle out. Yeah. And I did exactly the same side. Oh. Oh, but, so now I've got to... Do it the other way. Yeah. Right. So I've got two. Okay, make sure you get some fresh air. Do you know when you start a job that you think... Should I have started that? Well, one thing leads to another. Do you know, on boats you get so many cobwebs. So many. And did you know, spider poo, it's a real thing. Honestly, I'm not lying to you. Anyway, I started off by by dusting off the cobwebs from the outside. And then I realised just how filthy the windows were. So I'm now cleaning the windows and there's a lot I could, obviously i can only do one side because uh i'm not balancing on the edge to clean the windows I'll do for now but nutshell needs a proper good wash on the outside and then we can just keep on top of keeping it all polishing nice and glenn can do any of the rusty bits that are, that are appearing anyway outside windows looking good just gonna tackle the inside ones now i'll just use this uh white vinegar on the window 
morning, good morning. I don't know whether the camera's not focusing or my eyes aren't focusing. Am I in focus? Because <laughs> I don't look it. Anyway, good morning. It's Tuesday. I'm off to my mum's. I think I'm taking Glenn to the office first. Here is the man himself. You're going to the office this morning and then are you going to finish that last row of tiling? And then start doing sorting the grout, grout out. Then sorting the grouting out. There's an enthusiastic man on a Tuesday morning. No. <laughs> we like chalk and cheese, honestly. Honestly. So, going to my mum's this morning, going to take her shopping, but I tell you what, there's a shop I need to go into. Irvin's, the tea and coffee shop in Wellingborough. The tea caddy is empty. That's why my eyes aren't focusing this morning. No tea. No tea. And running out of coffee as well. Gonna get myself some of that Ethiopian Lumi. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but the stuff tastes divine. Right, let's go, Mr. W. Let's do it. Good afternoon. I've just returned from my mum's. I picked up the gorgeous Glen on my way back and I'm going to show you what I've purchased today. I'm also showing Glen because he hasn't seen either. Well, first of all, let us start with... So I didn't buy this, but my dad made it for me. And bearing in mind, I'm on a low carb diet. Oh, my dad has made me this bread and it smells bloody amazing. I may treat myself to a slice of this with some butter and some Marmite on. But thanks, Dad. Been shopping with my mum and then popped into Irvin's breakfast blend. Oh, for the love of tea. And then, while I was in Sainsbury's, I saw there were some tea bags that were peppermint and licorice. And I thought, mmm, before I picked them up, I thought, wonder if Irvin's got any. Picked up some licorice root and some peppermint tea. Gonna make me own. Gonna make me own. What else have I got in there? Oh, some frozen peas. That, that wasn't from Irvin's, that was from, um, and then, oh some of the ethiopian limu i've been calling it lumi it's l-i-m-u if there if there was smell vision with this coffee and this loaf of bread honestly my car smelt like heaven when glenn got in it earlier he was just like mm. so what else have i I bought I've done some shopping for some stuff for tea and in low carb fashion instead of using potatoes on the top of the cottage pie I'm making tonight I'm gonna to try a pumpkin topping this could be a great win or one of those hmm, maybe maybe we won't do that again lots of herbs and spices Ah, oh, this is what I wanted to show you these were half price in Sainsbury's in the homeware range and I couldn't resist them so I've got some coasters with this gorgeous pattern on I just thought they'd so go with Glenn's laughing at me over there why are you laughing coasters, coasters. but they're really nice coasters aren't they okay. and then because I really like these look at these matching egg cups we've got loads of egg cups in here yeah we have got loads of egg egg cups that is true but none of them as nice and matching as this so i thought what we could do is put the other egg, egg cups that we've got in the laundrette that mm -hmm. does sound a little random to say put the egg cups in the laundrette but in the laundrette here there's like a bookshelf where people put the books they've read and people can help themselves and dvds as well but people also pop on there anything like you know anything really to, that people can just take it's a great it's a great way so that was it that was a, a grand shopping adventure today i'm going to go and just sit here inhaling delicious coffee oh, it smells amazing and it tastes honestly this is the best coffee i've ever tasted
ever, ever, ever in my life. That's a, it's a strong statement, isn't it? Statement. Yeah. The, the trouble I have, right, is that coffee shop has many, many different types of coffee. And I've tasted that one and I'm like, that's the best coffee I've ever tasted. What if they've got other ones in there that taste even better? Well, it's a dilemma that I have now. You want dilemma? Alright, Mr. Warner, you are putting the last tile. So that's it. The last <laughs> tile. Yeah, that's 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 that bit. As in that's that bit finished, but it's the last tile and now I can uh, now Let's tidy up the main mess that I've made. Clean it all off. No, I've got to clean it all off first. It's got to come on. It's got to be like that because um, you the the you kind of the, uh, the the tile adhesive getting in the way of the grout because you won't be able to get it out once it's done. So I've got to clean them all up now. Well done. It's very dusty. I'm glad that, that bit's finished. Yeah. On to phase forty-three. Yeah. Hello, good Wednesday morning to you. And today, well, today I have nothing going on. Just got some work to do on my laptop. Nothing else going on until this evening. So, got loads of washing in already. I'm sort of still in my PJs and I'm planning to be in them most of the day. The weather outside is can only be described as grey it's not particularly cold it's just grey and it has been raining but it's just grey it's definitely summer has gone I may pack away summer clothes and get out the autumn ones could do that today anyway let's see how that goes but for today I will be mainly doing washing, staying in my PJs and just pottering around. So you remember the unit that we love in B&Q? Well Glenn has found a few hacks to make the cost cheaper. So number one, instead of the wooden worktop that's on top which is if i remember 100 pound 112 pound just for this small bit of wooden worktop glenn says that we can buy a whole length of three meter a three meter worktop of what wood uh, oak. oak worktop for 138 pound so what we're going to do is buy the bigger bit of worktop and we're going to save the rest for when we do the kitchen worktops because that'll probably suffice which so. are going to be in oak anyway whilst also looking um for ways to make it cheaper glenn spotted a sink that looked identical on ebay and it was 20 pound cheaper so instead of the 50 pound that the sink was this one is 30. So i'm not sure if it's it's a bit big it looks, it looks more like a basin it looks like you could have a bath in it does look it does actually look way bigger than the one or is that just because we're not in mm. being cute yeah. no, no, I don't know. I it looks that. massive did you not well, I, mean, I thought it was the same dimension no, i didn't check it it's the same dimension but that, i think it didn't matter because all i would know was our that worktop was 40 the what 45 deep so anything smaller than that would would fit would fit so, so what is this i've got a feeling it might be 40. oh that's that's five centimeters yeah that that's that's like know. two and a half centimeters each side yeah i mean i don't know I can't, that's I mean, like that much that's yeah, I need to check it. I can't. Hmm. I need to get a measure. That's all. I'm off out for the evening to a mindfulness event at a local cafe. I'm going to meet my friend Dawn there, so I'm really looking forward to seeing her too. Yeah. <laughs> 
much fun. Sorry. <laughs> I've just got back from a mindfulness event and Glenn has told me he's been working very hard. I'm gonna go down and see what he's been doing. Da, da, da. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Very nicely done. That's impressive, isn't it? Pretty solid. That Not is, going on there. That is rock solid. And if anyone thinks it's a little bit odd, these are actually taps where the feed is on the top, not on the bottom. So I haven't got it upside down because a lot of the ones you have at home and the feed's on the bottom. But the good thing about it, because we're putting these really low. We want into pipes under the gunnels. And they're we? under the gunnels, otherwise we lose. Yeah. We'd have lost two or three inches, which I know doesn't sound a lot, but when you're in a boat, it, uh, it makes all the difference between having room and not. So it is Friday. It's just gone 12 and... Friday? Oh, no, it's not, is it? It feels like a Friday. It is a Thursday, just gone 12, and we are heading to the Riverside Hub to meet Harry and Laura, and Nam is coming along too. Yeah, exciting stuff. Ben's fairly disappointed. He thought I'd said we'd meet the kids at the Riverside Pub, and actually it's Hub. Here we go. Here we go! Nervous. Yeah, just if anything's wrong, that's all. There's a lot riding on this. This is warm up. So I'll leave you to fix that. Yeah, come on. I'm a dude. Are you sad about that? Yeah. It could have been worse. It's only, um, it's a bit of thought in the summer, to be fair. But I need to let that dry out. Right, Mr. Warner, take two. Take two. Did you turn that on or not? Yes, on. Basically, that's one side. So looking good so far. And then let's do the other side, which I haven't touched. So now you just want to check underneath. A 
that's a lot of water. It's a little bit of a funny system actually. So it looks like we're, uh, we're leak free. I think we might change this at some point. It will do for now. But I'm not loving it. The quality of the equipment we've purchased. What I'm saying is just a bit rubbish. Is it a bit cheap and nasty yeah, then? That doesn't nasty. surprise me that you went for a cheap option. Well, so you don't know if we have the bar here. Right. Which would be better for us. Yeah. But obviously that means that's going to be hanging down like that. But what I could do is find some sort of to keep it over or it goes here. I think there's going to be better, darling. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's just you get a bit more height over it. Yeah, but not a great deal of height. So it's going to be probably, you're going to probably get the bar about there. So it'll probably go about here. Yeah. Okay. Mmm, impressive flooring, Mr. Warner. Yeah, that's we've done. I know I haven't really finished the other bits, but I think I need to get it down because I want to seal the bottom. You know, seal stuff around it. But and this stuff, I recommend anybody using this is to lay. Is it? Is it easy to lay? It's easy to lay. It's going to get a bit fiddly now. It won't go. Our, our room is not square. That doesn't surprise me on the boat. Good afternoon, it is Friday and we are on the Homeward Straight. We, we just... I love it. <laughs> I love the we. This is been hard at work in the bathroom, slaving away, bless her. You know what though, Glenn? We're in this together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This piece here has got the on off buttons for the, for the bar until I'm and so I just wanted to leave that till the really really last knockings and then I'll put it on um to make sure it doesn't leak. Yeah. It, it's, it it's switched leak. on now. Yeah it's, it's all switched on. And we've had no uh, no leakage. No leakage which is a bonus, Bobby bonus. So you just bought some skirting boards as well haven't you? I have. Thanks. I have bought some skirting board. Wide enough to go all the way around here. Um it's gonna need I'm gonna cut it all um, and then paint it. Well, gonna leave you to that. Yeah, thanks. Remember, Glenn, we're in this together. Yeah. The swans are talking to me. I have nothing for you. No, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I won't be Before, after. Before, after. I'll work my way down the roof slowly. <laughs> you got, you got a long way to go. Good morning. It is Saturday. Today is the River Festival and there's events going on in the park. The marina is having an open day. Looking after Leo this morning while his mum goes to work. It's all going on today. Looks like he's gonna jump. Hello, Pa. Wait, how did he get on? Wow, he did Yo. jump. The big grey loop, right leg in the red loop, left leg in the grey loop. Boom, boom. Okay, cool. Pull that up on a pair of pants. Okay, cool. Hold the yellow bit. Come on. Okay. Uh, well done, Leo. He definitely gets the toys like one step away. One more step. Go on. Look at you. One more. That's it. Big That's step it. Up. Big step. Big step up into the blue one. Is that step up? You definitely can. Go on. You've Go. got this. Reach for the grey. Grey, grey, grey. Don't put your foot on that blue. Yeah, that's it. You got it. That's you got it. Okay, let, let go. Hands and feet. Most people do. Yeah. You just put two or three fingers underneath, yeah. but it's whatever it feels I'm comfortable to you. Oh. 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 
Oh, oh back to the start. Three. So it's got to be a six or a five. A six or a five. Done you this got, before. Oh, yeah. oh you oh, got three. three. He knows right. what he's doing. Yeah, right, so what you got to do, Leo? I know. Okay, I got so you're looking you know. for a star. A star. Yeah. Thank you. Star. Oh my Whoa. goodness! Hey. Oh my goodness! Yes. Wow, take that, wow. Let's take have that a look one. At what else you might win? And yeah, then we can, uh... let's have a look. Oh, oh. that's a square. Oh. That's not there a star. Go. Oh, oh. Yeah, there you go. Wow. Okay, so, gold star, you can pick something off of up here. <gasps> wow, what do you want to pick, my darling? Any of those big prizes up there? Oh. Even the ones at the what, even the big chocolates? What about Whoa. getting some of that for Mummy? Oh, mummy, Do you yeah. think it would be like a nice surprise? Which one? That Whoa. one. Good morning. Sunday and I've just convinced Glenn to go to a car boot sale. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. So we've scoured the car boot sale. Well. Up and down the aisles yeah, and, and we have not found a casserole dish. I did find one that I really like to get out the chicken. You don't see one of those very often. A tandem. From our neighbours. Oh, there's a note as well. Let's have a look. Whoa. Oh, this is a spaghetti squash. I've never tried one of these. What is it? And I'm really looking forward to right, it. Squash. And we've got instructions as well. Gem squash. And then we got another one of oh. these lovely pumpkins. Honestly, they taste delicious. So that's from Phil, our neighbour. So what have you been up to, Glenn? Silicon sealing with, with masking tape. But the, the, this, this is the top of the tile, so there's still a little bit I'm not... Let me go up. Stuff gets everywhere. So it's just it's the best line I can do in it. It looks uh, pretty good. It's, it's alright. And I've done that one there as well again. You did that yesterday, did, didn't yeah, you? But, I took it all but you weren't it. happy with the line, so, so I put some tape on it today and I redid it. It looks good. You're oh. such a perfectionist, you're never happy, are you? No, it's still not perfect, but it's but it's a bit You've got a light to go in this channel, yeah, haven't uh, you? Yeah, I just haven't got the switch yet, so I'm sort of like, ah, oh, I'm also... So are you waiting to get the switch? Yeah, I'm waiting to get the switch, because also it's quite awkward, I don't really want to screw it, because when it screws it, it pulls it in and I can't get the channel into it, so and the screws are only temporary. So, left to do, need to do something yeah, here? Yeah, I've just been filling around the edges with that, so I've got to rub that down before I paint, you want to paint that don't you? Yeah. You want to paint it the same colour as the ceiling? Yeah. Or the whole wood frame? Yeah. You've got to do this window yet, which is yeah, going to take so a little... I've just chopped the bit off earlier. Um, it's going to take a bit more doing. A little bit more, I've, I've made, a bit, made it a bit squarer with the angle grinder. You've also got skirting board to do as well, haven't you? Yeah, but off the south, off, off, I've likely fitted that again. I can't really fit that because if, I'm not sure how the unit's gonna sit if the unit doesn't sit if that stops it sitting right back then i'm gonna have to cut it okay um, and, so uh, are you gonna wait till we've got the unit yeah i can't to do, really do well, i can't do that well, i'll go i'll go and get the unit tomorrow i won't get the work up tomorrow but i'll get the unit tomorrow um and then it should i'm going to try and do the window frame out somehow today i'm going to try and stick it on Okie doke. And then worry about the infill, a bit like this, after. I'm going to treat the rust as well that's behind it first. I'll brush with the cap for this. Right, I'm going to go and make you a cup of tea. Cheers. Have you had a brainwave? Well, it's just I've got lots of this flooring left over. Um, and it's quite easy to manipulate so in cut. So I did think, I put one side of the frame on, I thought about putting it around the around the window you are a genius mr warner full of them i reusing bits that we're going to throw away that we've normally thrown away so so that was it that was, was it. the week busy week it was a busy week wasn't it mm. a lot going on and you're doing a great job with the bathroom 
<laughs> you are. <laughs> you call me Grouter Glen. Grouter Glen. Oh, well. The grumpy. Gr grumpy Grouter Glen. <laughs> There was some serious grumpiness this week. Mm. So that was it. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.